from Rocky Mountain National Park. from Estes Park to Grand Lake. So we're gonna make the drive today, do some hiking, and just see the sights of Trail Ridge Road here in springtime. you guys it is a absolutely gorgeous day here in Rocky Mountain National Park so it is the beginning of June and we've already seen some elk the rivers are raging it's, it's all snow melt like it's crazy <laughs> and it's just gonna be a good day there is nothing like springtime in the mountains you guys could see this there's a bull moose right here I got a little bit of footage of him. Um, but there's too much tree cover, but he's so beautiful. Our first move. Gorgeous views of Rocky Mountain National Park, you guys. weekend here look at that it still blows my mind that this is only an hour from our house like this is absolutely gorgeous Rocky Mountain National Park um, this summer 2021 just know that reservations are required for the main park area between um, 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. and if you're doing Bear Lake you have to have reservations anytime after 5 a.m. so uh, little different little pandemic changes going on because of COVID and reservations are required check the website for more information a little bit of snow hiking never hurts anyone <laughs> We are at Forest Canyon Overlook. So much of this terrain here reminds us when we were in Alaska visiting Denali National Park. Got a mama. <laughs> okay, we got an elk. I'm moving right there. Just by his lonesome. <laughs> So we are on the Tundra Communities Interpretive Trail. But look at that background. <laughs> it's so pretty here. A lot of the plants here are the same that are in Alaska, Canada, and Siberia. That's amazing. Saying how this reminds me of Denali in Alaska. And then I saw that sign. <laughs> to the Alpine Center here and we just got two hot chocolates and a homemade cinnamon roll. It looks so good. Oh, look at this view. Chocolate is so good right now because it's chilly and windy out there in the mountains, you know. That's how it is. Don't you know. Get one of those cinnamon rolls. It's like one of the best cinnamon rolls I've ever had. <laughs> so good. Be sure to get one. and baby down here in the Alpine Center area. So we're gonna hike to the top of there, but the trail is closed because of all the snow still. Still <laughs> quite a bit of snow on some of these areas for beginning of June. I think it's it's June 11th, Friday, June 11th. And um, I mean, for the most part, it's pretty darn clear, but still quite a bit of snow. So we're gonna do a couple of hikes from the visitor center, but the snow was still there. And plus it is extremely windy today. <laughs> when we were here in winter time, 
It was extremely windy too. So I don't know what's going on, Rocky Mountain National Park. <laughs> but that's okay, we live close so we can come anytime I guess. <laughs> but one day we need to get here when it's not windy. <laughs> So we are making our descent from the Alpine Center and we are at uh, Irene Lake is what it's called. You guys, when you come to Rocky Mountain in the spring, trails might look like this. <laughs> They're like 50-50 snow. Might be a little muddy. Just come prepared and expect pretty much any type of environment. It's Lake Irene, beautiful. Had to go through some mud and a little snow, but it's worth it, gorgeous. We are now hiking, um, just doing small hikes um, here in lower elevation. We're at the Colorado River Trail and we're gonna go check it out. It's not as windy down here as it was way up in the mountains at the Alpine at high elevations, of course. <laughs> Cold? Very cold. Yeah? Oh my gosh. Refreshing Colorado River. All right, you guys, look at that burn there. That is from the 2020 fires that took place. Wow, you guys. You have to turn it off. I don't know. Okay. It's always sad seeing a national park or, well, anywhere have wildfires like this happen. It's really sad seeing this. So, this is your reminder be fire aware. Colorado is a very dry climate follow the fire bans. It's just, it needs to be implemented or that's what happened. So the area that was all burned was by Green Mountain. It was kind of by like the Grand Lake um, entrance to the park. So that was where we saw that burn. Um, and it was funny, we were actually thinking about hiking in that area and then I didn't realize that that whole area was burned. So definitely not doing that. So yeah, all our hiking and goals for the day didn't really happen. <laughs> but that's how it is sometimes. You just gotta roll with whatever happens. I see your ear, that's all I see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she's just napping now, it's nap time. Our second moose sighting, she decided it was time for an afternoon nap, so she sat down. <laughs> so I just got a little bit of her ear and her snout, and that was about it. We are at Beaver Creek picnic area here, and this is our gorgeous lunch spot. We are the only ones here, you guys. Right back there is where we saw the moose, so I'm like, if we hang out here long enough, maybe we'll see them. We'll see. I'm not even kidding, guys. I just came walking here, and there's a moose. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Holy cow. just in the water, just having a nice relaxing afternoon in the river, just munching away. So pretty, and I guess there's a baby. Someone else said that they saw a baby. And um, yeah, I love moose. They're like my favorite animal. All right, here's lunchtime. And we got a view of the moose over there. <laughs> Not too bad. This is basically the most memorable lunch we've ever had. <laughs> this lady is just hanging down there and she is just is so gorgeous. I've never expected to come literally pick this spot and then all of a sudden, bam, there's a moose. <laughs> and she's been hanging out here this whole time. It's amazing. That just goes to show, you just never know what's gonna happen, ever. Pretty awesome. Just doing a little more hike in here. There's some moose poop. Maybe we'll see more moose. Oh my gosh. Now there's two of them. Look at that. Guys, look at that. 
That is amazing. So there was just three moose. We got one right here, there's one in this brush, and then the girl is over here. experiences and we got to share it just there was only two other people there at the time and all of a sudden a huge tour bus came and the masses came and a guy started walking out to that most so one thing I want to talk to you guys about if you're watching this you visit national parks you're seeing wildlife don't you need to be respectful you can't just start walking out to a enormous animal like that like that was so irritating to watch. This isn't a zoo. Just remember that these are live, real life animals that can kill you. This is their home, not yours. So just please keep that in mind when you're out visiting national parks or any parks and you come upon wildlife, okay? All right, friendly reminder. There was only like four vehicles here and now it's dead stop traffic because of the moose. That moose has caused quite the stir. This is how far <laughs> the back of it is. <laughs> Oh my god, it just keeps going. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Moose drama. Moose drama taking place <laughs> in Rocky Mountain National Park here, for sure. Holy crap. Holy cow, it just keeps going. Okay, wow. Onward. We're gonna go sit and just have a little snack out in the middle of nowhere here in the park. There's like no one here at this little parking lot, but there's this cute little trail. It's always like, the best when you come to a parking lot or find a trail and there's no one around it's all yours <laughs> oh so maybe we'll see another moose who knows today has been something <laughs> Right, you guys thank you so much for joining us here at springtime in Rocky Mountain National Park Wow so we didn't do any of the hikes we had planned but our day started with a moose sighting we had lunch with a moose and then we just ended our day with a moose I would say it was a pretty good day full of wildlife viewing and of course we saw elk and the marmots like beautiful springtime and Rocky Mountain National Park is amazing so I hope you guys can make it here if you have any questions of course let me know and we'll see you guys back here in summertime because we're gonna try and do some of those hikes that we really wanted to do. <laughs> so thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for future vlogs. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.